back down to four post beach. I uh, wanted to have a look to see if we can see any more coins laying about. Now, as you can see in front of us, uh, those rocks there are normally sanded in. So there has been quite some heavy action in there and a lot of sand has gone. And in this lot here, I've never seen that lot exposed. So some serious sand has been shifted off the beach. And even up along the top there, um, normally where I detect, it's, it's all exposed. Um, so I will be getting down amongst these rocks if I can get in there with the detector and see what we can find. Uh, but even over here, uh, this is where I was finding all the coins last week washed up on the beach. You can see the cut. Well, we've had this rough river and it's really hammered along the top of this coast here. So, right, I'm going to get set up, uh, turn the detector on, ground balanced up and uh, Get detecting and uh, hopefully we'll be back with some coins. It's drizzling and raining at the moment. Um, it's, I can put up with it but see how long I am here for. Um, hopefully we're going to get a bit longer session today than normal. So hopefully we should have some good finds. Right, on we go. Right, we're not far on uh, from the previous target. And just here, as you see, if I, uh, just flick it out. Had our first coin. Um, or is it a button? No. I think it's a button. It seems to have got a back on it. I can't see any detail. I've got my coat in the way there. It's a button, I think. I can't see any details on it, but it's definitely got a shank on the back. So, uh, another one for cleaning up when we get back. But so far, looking promising. Right. Hopefully, on to the next one. Right, just had the first coin. Uh, I haven't cleaned it off yet. Uh, came out the hole here by the roots. Let's have a look what we got. It is... Oh, gaming token. A PE Amusements gaming token. I can't see what's on this side. I found some of these before, not, but not never at this beach. So, okay. So the next one. Right, we just had another coin um, out of that hole there. It was a good five, six inches down. But I can't make head nor tail of that. Um, no idea what that is. It's quite a thick old coin. So that's one for uh, putting in the old acid bath when we get home, trying to get in some of the crud off it. See what that is. Um, getting lots of targets, but there's a hell of a lot of iron being washed up on this beach. It's everywhere. But all right, let's carry on and see what else we can find. Right. Not only should you recheck your hole, but you should also recheck your spoil because I've just had a brass nail out of here so I thought, ah, oh, that was the target so I've re-swept over and here <sighs> laying in the same hole is a sixpence from 1952 now I would have missed that had I not rechecked the spoil heap I only came out of that hole there, I literally just scraped the top of the surface with the shovel. So that's a new one for me. I normally just recheck my hole and then bury it, but I should now be rechecking my spoil wheel. Okay, on we go. Just uh, about an inch down, I've had another one of these uh, discs. I think these are the old uh, half pennies that are being worn, but I don't know. Be some detail on that one. That's the second one I found. I forgot to film the other one. So, still stuff here. Um, I'm still concentrating just high up on this bank at the moment. Uh, get, still getting lots of targets, uh, but mainly iron. But there's some coins in amongst them, so we've still got uh, a fair way down the beach to go. So, uh, should be okay. And it looks like the weather's brightening up a bit as well, which is a bonus. Right, on we go. 
Right, I haven't looked at this yet, but again, I've just Tex has just found that. Um, well, I think there's some sort of button by the look of it. Got a shank on the back. Uh, quite big. There may be a design or something on the front of there. I don't really know. I'll have to just clean it up and have a look. There's things to be stuff here, so uh, okay, let's continue and uh, see what else we can find. Right, just raking about to the target and got a button. Uh, uh, I seem to have some writing around the edge. Uh, a little pattern on the front, so again, we can clean that up when we get back and uh, hopefully post some pics. Uh, just smell, found uh, a small little rim fire cartridge, uh, but that was still live, so I've buried that because that's quite old, so I don't know how stable that is. I don't want that in pocket. Right, on to the next. Well, Yet another one of these uh, worn discs. I say I'm pretty sure from my last uh, thing down here, these are worn half penny coins. Um, you can see I'm slowly still working my way down the beach, just concentrating on this high up. And I'm going to go down and do a swing at the base of it, see if there's any heavier coins going down there. Okay, let's continue, see what else we can get. Right, I've just flung that out now, which is. Two francs coin from well, it looks to be 1913. Uh, I don't know if that's right or not. It looks to be two francs, yes, yeah, 19 something free. Uh, so we'll. Uh, to look that one up when we get home, but that was uh, quite deep. Um, we dropped back down the uh, the beach, so if that's there, I'm going to spiral out from there. But that's in bloody good nick. Travel uh, family Paris, two francs. I don't know. I don't know whether that's. Uh, spiral from here because obviously I found a big coin so there may be others built around. Right, so. right we're still our next target, about three inches down. Um, I haven't had a look at it yet. Just flung out the hole. And it is A modern five pence piece. Now what? Well, this is a coin and it's readable. Can't see a date on there or is there one on there? Uh, 2002. So that's uh, obviously a recent drop. Obviously someone's been going fishing here. But, uh, oh well, at least the coins are still coming. Um, so I'm doing the lower bit. Uh, trying to see what I can find. So. Still not a bad day. Another time to dig. Let's have a knife dig. So we'll dig. So that. That is somewhere here. And it is. This is. Some sort of lead seal. It's got a badge on it as well. Yeah. It's got like a crown on it with the king on it. That's where the bag held on. And I don't know. A 
a bit different. I've never found that before. Uh, right, we'll uh, give that a brush up, get some photos of that. But yeah, good for a live dig. I've never found a real seal. Right, okay, on with it. There you go, still producing. Another one of those uh, discs just laying on the top. I'm sure these are half pennies, but that's all I can assume they are. Oh what? Well, I'll put that in the uh, fines pouch. Uh, just come out the hole there, only about two inches deep. You can see it there. That is modern 20 pence piece. Can't see a date on it. So we're still finding coins. I'm uh, now running sort of along here where these rocks are. I'm slowly doing sections down the beach. You can see uh, still finding coins. So you can see here, I'm sort of getting a trail, but it's mainly um, World War II pieces of uh, brass. So yeah, this one's not too far out of line, so we'll continue along. Hopefully we should dig a few more targets. Okay. Well, just add uh, the heavier coin there. Uh, this is a modern one pound coin from 1997. So that's spendable, so that'll go nicely. Um, it's down there, probably about four inches deep, so I'm going to have a spiral out from here because uh, I always believe that once you start finding the pound coins, if there's any jewellery, because of the density, it's not that far away. So we'll try it, but I don't hold out much hope. I haven't found anything as yet doing it, but you live in hope. Done for the day. Um, we're just heading back home now. Um, got a nice pouch full of coins. So I'll do a uh, round up as normal and uh, put some photos on um, but yeah that uh, four post beach is certainly still producing um, and at some point in the future I'm going to do another two sea scope hunt get my relative to come down and we're going to hit that beach with two of us on there spend a really good day down there um, and see exactly what's there um, because obviously I only get a few hours when I go uh, I've only got in sort of three four hours today and I'm sure there's so much more there still to discover. Um, so, okay, that's it from me. And uh, I'll post the roundup.